Welcome to Maths for All. I'm Ashling Flynn. This is Financial Maths 1.2 Percentage Profit and Loss. Percentage Profit. So, a food store bought a pie for three euros and sold it for eight euro. A car dealer bought a second-hand car for two thousand euro and sold it for two thousand and five euro. What profit was made by each business? So by subtraction you can see that the food store made 5 euros on their pie and also the car dealer made 5 euro on their car. But which business did better? I think you'd agree that the food store did better. Why? Because the profit is a bigger uh, proportion in proportion to the cost price, 3 euros. They made 5 euros on 3, that's really good. Whereas to make 5 euros on 2,000, um, probably not so good. By, um, firstly, you wouldn't sell so many cars as you might pies. Also, by the time you paid your um, salesman, give commission and all the overheads, you wouldn't be doing very well. Okay, so that is the reason we don't measure profit by, by euros alone. Okay, uh, we like to use percentage profit, makes more sense. Okay, there's a little formula here to calculate percentage profit. You put profit over cost price, so you're measuring on cost price, that's a fraction. And multiplying by 100 converts that fraction to a percentage. So the important part is the amount of profit is always measured against the cost price. So you should always put profit over cost price, so always cost price. Um, for example, the food store made a profit of 5 euros on an initial investment of 3. Okay, so you put 5 over 3, so you made 5 euros on 3 euros. Multiply by 100 converts that fraction to a percentage, and you made a hundred, or they made a hundred and sixty-six point seven percent profit on the pie, which would be considered very good. Okay, uh, let's compare that now to the car dealer. Okay, the car dealer made a profit of five euro on an initial investment of 2000 so the cost price is 2000 so f I say to myself 5 on 2000 or 5 out of 2000 creating the fraction multiply the fraction by 100 so on your calculator you can use the fraction button or you can do 5 divided by 2000 multiplied by 100 and that only resulted in a less than 1% profit or a quarter of a percent profit, 0.25%. Okay, so much less in comparison. So that's why we use percentage profit. Okay, we can use the same idea for percentage loss. The loss is always compared to the cost price. So it's loss over cost price multiplied by 100. A clothes shop was forced to sell off stock to make room for a new delivery. A jumper of cost price 80 euro was put on sale for 64 euro. What was the percentage loss made? Okay, so, but before you can find percentage loss, you must find um, how much was the loss in euro. So firstly, we do that subtraction. 80 minus 64, we get 16 euro. There was a 16 euro loss. Now, how significant is that loss? What is the percentage loss? We put that over the cost price. So 16 out of 80 was lost. Multiply by 100. So 16 divided by 80, multiply by 100. And it gives you 20%. So there was a 20% loss. Okay, now a um, different style of question, finding the selling price. To find the selling price, 
we must increase the cost price by the desired percentage profit. So we're still working with percentages. So for profit, we increase the cost price. And for loss, we decrease the cost price, okay, by the appropriate percentage loss. Example, a shopkeeper bought a book for five euros and wishes to sell it at a percentage profit of 12 euro. What should she sell the book for? Okay, so if you look up, it says we must increase the cost price by 12% of the cost price. So we must add on 12% of the cost price. So firstly, we must calculate 12%. So 12% of five euros, if you like to use fractions, you can do 12 over 100. So 12 divided by 100 multiplied by five. You can use your percentage function on your calculator, or you can use decimal, whatever is your favorite, okay? But 12% of five euro gives you 0 0.60, which is 60 cent, okay? And now we must add on that desired profit. Okay, so increase it. So you do five euros plus 0 0.60 and we get five euros 60 would be the desired selling price. Okay, so that was straightforward enough. Now find the cost price is a little bit trickier. Okay, this is an exercise in working backwards. Okay, always work backwards to find 1%. Okay, so always track back to find 1% and then multiply to find 100%. Okay, the cost price is always 100%. It's always considered 100. So if you're asked to calculate the cost price, you're trying to find a 100%. If you have sold at a profit, you have sold at more than a hundred percent. Okay. And if you have sold at a loss, you have sold at less than a hundred percent. And there are two examples following to show this. Example one, a shopkeeper sold a microwave for 78 euro at a profit of 30%. Find the cost price of the microwave. So find what the shopkeeper bought it in for. Okay, now we're, we have sold it a profit. Recall we said if you sold it a profit, you sold it more than 100%. And recall that the cost price is considered 100%. So I like to make a list. 78 euros, so the selling price represents 130%. So why 130? Well, it was the cost price, 100, plus the profit, which was 30%. So 78 euros is 130%, so more than cost price. Now we're tracking backwards to find 1%, means we divide 78 by the 130, and that gives me 60 cent, and 60 cent is 1%. Now we're going to scale that 1% up to find 100%. So 1 multiplied by 100 gives 100%. So we're going to multiply the 60 cent by 100. It gives me 60 euros. So 60 euros is 100%. 60 euros is the cost price. Okay, so pause there, look back through it, and review each step. Example two, finding the cost price. The shopkeeper sold a coffee machine for 96 euros at a loss of 20%. Find the cost price of the coffee machine. So this time we're doing loss. Recall if you sell at a loss, you sell at less than 100% and the cost price is 100%. So what is 96 euros? 96 euros is 80% because you've lost 20 from the cost price. Okay, 80%. We're going to track backwards and find 1%. So we'll divide 96 by 80. Okay, and you get 120 and that represents 1%. Taking the 1%, 120, 
multiplied by 100, we get 120 euro, which is 100% or the cost price. The cost price was 120 euro. Okay, again, pause at this stage, look back at each step and review why we take each step. Okay, now it's time for you to do that. Um, do the quiz called Financial Maths 1.2 and the matching written exercises.